In this particular video, we will be learning about number theory using a problem from ISI entrance. Now, this problem says the following that 3n plus 1 is a square number. So, we can assume that 3n plus 1 is equal to some k square. So, it's a perfect square number. It's a square of any other integer. Here, n is also a positive integer. n is positive integer. Now, we want to show that n plus 1 this quantity, this number n plus 1, is equal to sum of the squares of three positive integers. If 3n plus 1 is itself a square number, k square, then n plus 1 is sum of three positive square numbers. Looks very intriguing, isn't it? You can pause the video here and give it a try or you can proceed to the hint section. Remember, you have to try the problem on your own if you want to learn something from it. So here is hint. We know that 3n plus 1 is equal to k square. So this particular square number when divided by 3 gives remainder 1. Remainder 1. Now, we would want to know what happens to k if it is divided by 3. So, any number when divided by 3 is either giving remainder 0 so, I can write it 3 times some other number plus 0. Or it gives remainder 1. Or it gives remainder 2. Right. If you divide any number k by 3. So, it gives remainder 0 or 1 or 2. And in each case, you can write that number in this particular form. Now, if you square the number you'll get 9j square in the first case. In the second case, you'll get 9j square plus 6j plus 1. In the third case, you will get 9j square plus 12j plus 4. So, notice that this first number in the first case, k square gives remainder 0 when divided by 3. So, clearly our k is not a multiple of 3. So, this particular case is not applicable. In both of these two other cases, if you divide by 3, remainder is 1. Now, if you don't know why that is true, I would ask you to actually do an algebraic division by 3 and give me a reason in the comment why both of these expressions when divided by 3 gives remainder 1. You can write it in the comment. Okay, so that number k in our case, since it gives remainder, since its square gives remainder 1 is either 3j plus 1 or 3j plus 2. That means it either gives remainder 1 or it either gives or it gives remainder 2. Okay. So let's take the first case. Case 1. A gives remainder 1 when divided by 3 or k is equal to 3j plus 1. So we already know that k square is 9j square plus 6j 
plus 1. So 3n plus 1 is equal to 9j square plus 6j plus 1. Let's cancel out this one. And let's divide by 3 both sides. So we get n equals to 3j square plus 2j. That is, we divide this equation by 3 and we get this one. Okay. Now remember, we are interested in n plus 1, isn't it? Because that's what we want to show. We want to show that n plus 1 can be written as a sum of 3 squares. So let's do that. Let's find out n plus 1. That is 3j square plus 2j plus 1. Now we can make an easy trick. We can write 3j square as j square plus j square plus j square plus 2j plus 1. Let's bracket this out. So this is simple. This is j square plus j square plus j plus 1 whole square. Look, it is precisely sum of three square numbers. So in the first case, when k is equal to 3j plus 1, we get the desired result. We get that n plus 1 can be written as square of j, square of j, and square of j plus 1. We can finish the case 2 exactly in the same way. So what is the case 2? Case 2 is the case when we assume that k divided by 3 gives remainder 2 or k square is equal to 9j square plus 12j plus 4. So 3n plus 1 is equal to 9j square plus 12j plus 4. If you subtract 1 from both sides, you'll get 3n is equal to 9j square plus 12j plus 3. Now divide by 3 to get n is equal to 3j square plus 4j plus 1. Again, we are interested in n plus 1. So let's compute that n plus 1 is equal to 3j square plus 4j plus 2. Now this quantity can be very easily written as a sum of two square numbers. Actually sum of three square numbers. How? So you can write it as j square plus j square plus 2j plus 1 plus j square plus 2j plus 1. You can check that this is exactly the given expression here. Okay. Why is this thing sum of three square numbers? Can you write that down in the comment? It's just one line. This expression here is sum of three square numbers. Tell me why. Think about it and I will see you in the next video with more beautiful problems. Bye.